What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Brisket Medic. I've had a couple of fans ask some questions about ugly drum smokers. In particular, they wanted some tips about fire management. Now, ugly drum smokers are super easy to use. If you've never used one, I've got a playlist that you can check out and you can see all the cooks that we've done on them down below. But today, let's talk about starting a fire and managing it. First things first, with the Ugly Drum Smoker, you've got to understand that there are two intakes and one exhaust on every model that's out there, except for maybe a few. But most likely, if you've built your own or even if you've bought one, you've got this style, whether it's the small stubbies or the uh, tall uprights. I've got some of both. Either way, they both work the same. When you start out, you pour charcoal into your charcoal basket. I like to use briquettes, a uh, mixture of briquettes and lump, or just briquettes, and then a uh, lump of hardwood in there just for some smoke. And this burns a little bit different than a pure wood fire, uh, and it's not going to be as clean as a pure wood fire, but uh, by the way it's designed and the way these uh, charcoal briquettes burn, it's still not a dirty fire per se. So once you got that filled up, go ahead and get it lit light that thing up and let it burn for quite some time. Now, where you light it is pretty important because depending on the shape of your fire basket, I have a round one and I've got a square one. And the square one, I like to light it close to the corner and the round one, it really doesn't matter, just somewhere along the edge. And the reason I like to do that is because when I lower that down into the smoker after letting it burn for 15, 20 minutes, get those coals nice and white hot in a nice concentrated area, I lower it down into the smoker between my two air intakes. The air's coming in and I want it to hit right where those coals are lit at the moment. And that's gonna allow it to burn a lot more efficiently. I leave everything wide open, leave the lid off for about 20 minutes, put the lid on, exhaust wide open. Exhaust is gonna stay wide open for the entirety of the cook. As that temperature starts to build up, I'll start dialing down my intakes and uh, you'll get to know your smoker. Each smoker is different. With mine, I can leave them wide open. It's gonna run 400 degrees no matter what. I can close them halfway and it's gonna run 250 degrees no matter what. And if I close them about uh, a quarter, a little less than a quarter, it's gonna be running 275, 300. If I just barely close both of them, it's gonna be at 325 degrees. I started these uh, at 6 a.m. this morning. It is now 4 p.m. So that's what, four, six, 10 hours and uh, 225 degrees on both of them. I have cooked ribs, pork butt and brisket and a chicken on this. I did a competition practice today at home just to get ready for this weekend and uh, still running hot. I didn't even fill these charcoal baskets all the way up, and so they're extremely, extremely, extremely efficient. I only used one regular bag of charcoal to fill up both of these. So they do a very, very good job. You don't have to adjust them. You don't have to play with them. You wanna make sure that as you're dialing that pit down, you don't let it get above where you want it. It's harder to lower the temperature on these things than it is to raise it. And that brings me to another tip. Make sure that the lid is closed and has a good seal on it. Whether you're building this or whether you bought it, you make sure that your lid has a good seal on it because if that lid is open or stays open or doesn't have a good seal on it, it's gonna get away from you. The temperature's gonna rise up and you're not gonna be able to control it very well at all. So when you're moving your meat, when you're probing your meat, when you're uh, flavoring your meat, doing whatever you're doing to your meat, make sure you're not leaving the lid off of it for an extended amount of time or your fire's gonna get way away from you and you're gonna have a hard time controlling it. Other than that, it's literally instead of forget it. It's easier to use than a pellet smoker. It's got its own unique flavor profile because of the grease that drips down. I use a, um, an old smoky heat deflector on top of the uh, fire, uh, the, the charcoal basket, and that allows that uh, moisture to hit down on there and it not be such a dirty, um, dirty flame, dirty burn down at the bottom. It kind of hits that heat deflector, but also it keeps me from having to spin the grates too, too often. Um, so those are some tips. You can either do that or install a grate about halfway, put in a water pan and keep things spinning around like that. And keep things nice and moist. If you like what you hear about an ugly drum smoker, ask me any questions you may have about this smoker or any other smoker for that matter. And I'd love to give you some tips and tricks on how to run it so you have an amazing experience 
on your backyard. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below.